So I have signed the Montreal Declaration, and I also forwarded it to other people who normally sign my petitions. And some say, yes, of course. And others uh, hesitated because some points in the declaration are perhaps uh, too general. So they ask, what about animals that are really well kept? What about animals that are maybe so rudimentary that they are closer to plants than to the rest of the animals? And yes, of course, some cases like bullfighting are very clear and other cases are not so clear. But uh, at a time when there is, for example, a war that shouldn't be going on or a disaster like climate change, and some people organize a demonstration or a petition or some other form of social signaling, we shouldn't be thinking about whether we agree with every banner on the march or every single thing the organizers have ever said. We should be focusing on whether we think that humanity should continue to go in this direction towards more wars, more emissions, and also more macro farms with thousands of pigs in them, or whether we should be going in the opposite direction towards a plant-based economy like the Montreal Declaration recommends. And the scientific evidence about animal suffering, as well as about the environmental impact of using animals, is so overwhelming. And from the point of moral and political philosophy, the case is so crystal clear that I think we shouldn't be too preoccupied now with the nuances of our distinctive uh, personal positions, because that's not what we're being asked. We're asked to join others so that we can together sign and tell the rest of the world we are going in this direction and we shouldn't be. We should be going in exactly the opposite direction. So I am hoping that uh, this is how other people would see it and they will sign the declaration. Thank you. Hi. I support the Montreal Declaration on Animal Exploitation, and I would encourage you to support it as well, because all the differing implications of speciesism should be rejected. Speciesism is the discrimination against those who don't belong to a certain species. And anthropocentric speciesism is just one instance. That is the discrimination against those who don't belong to the human group. However, what happens here is that belonging to a certain species or any other biological not related to the capacity that a being has of suffering harms and enjoying benefits should be considered totally morally irrelevant. That's why discriminating against non-human animals and harming them, and inflicting in them terrible suffering and killing them, just for the sake of providing us with certain benefits, is something that we should reject and we should abandon. And this is important not only for the animals that are existing right now, and suffering due to this exploitation. It's also very important because this will help us to prevent the massive, incredibly huge amounts of suffering that otherwise will occur in the future, including the far future. We should oppose this. Hi, I'm Peter Singer, and I'm a signatory to the Montreal Declaration on Animal Exploitation. I welcome this declaration because I've been working since the early 1970s for an end to speciesism, that is, to the prejudice or bias we have against taking seriously the interests of sentient beings who are not members of our species. I see speciesism as something that is akin to racism and sexism in that it's an ideology developed by a dominant group to exploit those over whom that dominant group has power and who the dominant group wants to use for its own ends. So whether the dominant group is uh, whites or males or all humans vis-a-vis -vis other species, none of them 
give equal consideration to those who are under them. And I believe that equal consideration for similar interests is the fundamental moral principle that should guide us. The Montreal Declaration on Animal Exploitation doesn't call for this exploitation to stop instantly. We know that's not realistic, but it calls for us all to work towards its end, to reduce the violence and suffering we inflict on animals as far as we can, and to look forward to a better future in which we no longer make animals suffer where it's not necessary and where we are satisfying minor interests of our own at the expense of the greatest and most important interests that non-human animals have. Thank you for supporting the Montreal Declaration on Animal Exploitation.